Hello there guys, Philippa10000 here, bringing you a quick pre-video message, and if you'd like to support the channel, make sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And make sure to check out the Game Show Central Discord channel down in the description, where you can hang out with me and my friends. Enjoy the video! <laughs> Hello there everybody, Billabo10000 here, bringing you Into the Depths 2, the demo edition. This is the sequel to one of my favourite horror Minecraft maps that I had the chance of playing way back a few years ago. It was a brilliant map, and I've been waiting for the sequel for quite a while, and there were some rumours about it coming around last Halloween, haven't heard anything since, and then now, suddenly, the demo came out. And I got a message from the creator saying to check it out if he could. I'm interested. Uh, I'm using my Zenyatta skin because uh, there was a custom skin that came with the, the pack for like the main character. But I wanted to keep my own personal brand on here so I'm using my own skin. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm very excited. So we're in this nice little woodland area. We've got a custom texture pack. Uh, it's got the Silent Hill theme. Like it's got the little duh duh Silent Hill sounds. And... It's no secret that this is hilariously, um, inspired by, uh, by Silent Hill. So we've got the read this, the rules, and the journal. Now this is meant to be about 19 minutes long, so this is probably going to get split up into a few episodes. Let's read the first bit. This map requires Optifine, no exceptions. The map heavily depends on its lighting and visuals. Optifine allows the use of dynamic health, torches, and custom light maps. The map is pretty much unplayable without Optifine installed. Do not use any shaders. In that case, I need to turn off my shaders then. Ah oh, no. I'm gonna miss bit Silda's basic shaders, but for the for the recording. The shaders are gone. Okay. It will ruin the aesthetic and the gameplay of the map. With that said, change these settings. Graphics fast, render distance three, smooth lighting to minimum. Okay. Uh so okay, so graphics fast, from what I saw. Uh, render distance down to three. Smooth lighting minimum, but not off, I don't think it said. Uh, this map looks pretty much hideous with light maps without smooth lighting. Uh, wait. Uh, smooth lighting to at least minimum. Oh, okay, so I can leave the smooth lighting on maximum if I want to. Okay. Uh, brightness moody. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna put it to like 50% just because YouTube already darkens the video. And I'm probably going to add a bit of brightness in editing so you guys can see what's going on, mainly because nobody likes watching a black screen. Um, hopefully you can respect that, map maker. Um, dynamic lights fast. Um, dynamic light setting allows torches to emit light. This map requires this feature. Don't use fancy because it can be buggy as hell. So dynamic lights, uh, which is here. Put it on fast. Under detail settings, clouds off. Trees smart, fog fancy, fog starts at two. That's what it was telling me. I'm just making sure I'm getting all this right. Trees smart, sky off, moon off, fog fancy, fog start at 0 0.2, stars off, I guess. Uh, the rest of this, I assume, is all fine. Um, it doesn't seem like anything else needs to be changed. Rain, snow, any setting except for off. Uh, alternate blocks on. Under quality settings, leave everything on, but you can see what uh, set whatever you want for antistrophic. Uh, under, uh, other have weather turned on. So we need weather. Just making sure I got all this set up. I didn't know this was, I didn't even know there was a, a book about all this. So I'm kind of, uh, just making sure it's all 100% working. So rain and snow sorted out. Uh, quality. Leave all of that on. Leave all of that on. Uh, I think that's all set up. Uh, under weather, have weather turned on. Unless you feel physically ill at lower FOVs, this map is best played at around 75 to 90. Have all volume sliders turned up except ambient environment. Keep that one at zero. Uh, so music up, ambient environment zero, everything else up. I've got my master volume set at 55 because if it's too loud, bit too much. Uh, okay, 
Uh, and is there anything else in this book? Nope, okay. Rules. Do not try to put any items in your inventory. You may only use your nine hotbar slots for inventory. This map has an emphasis on item management. As you'll see, your inventory is filled with grey stained glass. If you try to place an item with any slot with stained glass, the item will be instantly destroyed and replaced with another stained glass. This is to prevent cheating. Do not try it, as losing certain items may break the map. Do not remove items from item frames unless specified to do so. Other than that, rules are pretty self-explanatory. You will find tutorial books along your journey to explain new mechanics as you find them. Journal. Sunday. Boss dragged me into his office today. Told me he has a job he only trusts me to handle. He needs me to track a guy down and either bring him back or as a last resort, kill him. I was given a name and a description. Isaac. Six foot something. Light skinned, average build, brown hair and a bit of scruff on the face. Boss wouldn't tell me why we want this guy, that it's out of my jurisdiction, and despite that, I still took it, because I'm getting paid damn well for this one. Don't know, don't care. The town guards were initially handling things, but the guy winged it out of town and into the woods in the dead of winter. So that's where I come in. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Monday. Still on his trail, but I'm camping out for the night. He can't be much further. He left without food, supplies, nothing. Tuesday. What the hell? His tracks did a complete 180. He's headed back toward town. A storm is moving in and he probably gave up and decided to take his chances back home. I can still catch him before he gets back though. The storm has to be slowing him to a crawl. Tomorrow? Tomorrow he's mine. Wednesday. Just my goddamn luck. Not only did Isaac's trail go cold, but I was ambushed by some bandits. They didn't kill me, but they stole everything but this journal and the clothes on my back. The storm isn't letting up and it's getting dark. I don't know if I can make it back, but I need to try. So cold. I'm gonna rip some pages out of this book to keep the fire burning a bit longer than I'm hauling myself back to town, even if it takes everything in me. The rest of the pages are torn out from the book. And then there's this. This is your notebook. You can use this, as you see, uh, to make note of locations, puzzles, enemies, and locked doors. Okay. So I'm gonna place uh, my read this rules, and I'm gonna put the journal in there as well. Don't think I need that. I'll keep the notebook with me. I guess we're getting started then. Oh. Well, this was a mistake. <laughs> okay. Let's just get moving. I believe we'll regen that health, so we should be fine. Ooh, music and everything. SS33094 presents... A Minecraft custom map. I like that. Walking through the vines. Inspired by the Silent Hill series. Oh, I know. Oh, I walked backwards. Wait. Did I? Into the Depths 2, The Unbidden. Yeah, I walked backwards. I'm dumb. The Unbidden. Music and sound, Silent Hill series, Akira Yamaoka. Textures and models, Monster Fish Misa, The She-Wolf, and Red Ux Chilbara. Written by Chris Rivers, a.k.a. SS33094. Ort der Still, 0.5 miles. Alright, let's take a look. Music's pretty cool, pretty jazzy. A little bit loud, but you know. Very Silent Hill-esque. They always have that one chill song. Ooh! I'm not gonna get copyright striked for this, am I? That's kind of important. I need to make sure I'm not copyright strike for this music. Alright. The darkness is in my name, yes. Ooh. Lumber. Anything worth exploring? No. God damn. I guess we're heading to the town then. Let's go. Oh, the blood turns to ash. These lyrics are my... God damn. I am so excited. This... Oh, I remember how good the first map was. This is gonna be amazing. I know it is. I can feel it. This beginning... Oh. Alright. There's not really much else to look at. Oh, that a sign? Ort de Steel, 0.2 miles. We're almost there. And it's snowing still. Still freezing cold out. 
Alright, the music's starting to die down a bit, so we can now focus on the map. And I think we're about to emerge from the tree line here. That is creepy. Welcome to Ort the Steel, apparently. Hey, open the gate! I'm freezing to death out here! No answer. They must be taking shelter from the cold. There was construction being done on one end of the wall. Maybe I can get through there. Let me just see if I can uh, increase the chat size. I just realized it's a little bit short, so let me just quickly... Uh, let me do... Let's just do full-size chat for this one, because it's very small. All right, very small type font. So we're heading this way across the wall. I've already lost health because I walked into the fire. We've got some nice ambiance going on. For some reason, I'm getting Legacy of Cain vibes, and I have no idea why. But I know this is more- this is Silent Hill. I am getting the Silent Hill vibes. I can feel it. Alright, into the town. Hopefully we don't get attacked too quickly. I'd rather not. I'd rather get a chance to move around a bit. Graves. One of them uh, looks like it was covered recently. I should be able to dig it up if I can get my hands on a shovel. Hopefully they're not the graves of Arnold Shushka. Oh god, I don't want to go through that again. Arnold Shuster and his wife. What was his wife's name? I don't remember. I need to rewatch my my playthrough of the first game because I, I heard there's going to be like some references. Ooh. Hello? Anyone home? Nothing in there. Anything in there? No. That's a cauldron. But damn, it's so dark. It's really difficult to see what's uh, what's in front of me. Why is the front door boarded shut? The cellar is locked as well. Oh, nice. This looks really cool. This is very Dark Souls-esque, this, uh, this picture. Guess we're heading upstairs. If anyone's home, I'm coming up. Don't be alarmed. Hello? Doesn't look like there's anyone here. Lots of books in here. Mostly astrology, ancient civilizations and their religions. Various gods and demons. Interesting. No, not interesting. Can we pick this up? Nope. Is there anything of importance in this room? Maybe we can go out the, the window. I don't know. There's got to be something in here. Ah, yeah, we could pick up the, the old shovel. I wasn't sure. So I guess we're going to dig up that grave then. It's all we can really do. So let's just get straight into it then. Which grave is it that it wants us to dig up? This one? Probably. Aha. What is this? Uh, this was buried... Uh, the cellar key. This is buried in a grave. Something tells me I'm not going to like what's behind that door. There's going to be something horrific. Probably not a monster just yet, but probably still something horrific. Alright, let's open up the cellar and head on in. Hello? Yep, that's, um... That's a cellar. What the hell? This isn't a cellar. This is like a... A full-on drop-down into like a castle or something. Or a dungeon. No one has a cellar that goes down this deep in a small rural town, so something's definitely going on here. Where am I? Oh, we got the ambiance going already. This is great. What the hell is this place? Oh, great. Hi. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, hello. That was the wrong direction. Or was it? What? Oh god, why was I stopped? And how do I escape? I don't think I can break this. Aha, I didn't see you. Oh god damn, getting straight into the scares though, I will admit. Oh my god, that's a dead body. I don't think I'm allowed to actually take the, the tunics and stuff, but... Oh no! Hey, I was wondering when you'd wake up. Okay, so it was a dream. Thank god. 
Isaac? This is the guy I was looking for. Fuck. Okay. Um... Cutscene 1. Right, I have to read the cutscenes. You awake with a jolt, gasping for air. Taking a look at your surroundings, a man stands before you. Hey, easy there. Relax, you're in no danger here. You sit up and begin checking your body for any injuries. What happened to me? The name is Isaac, miss. I believe a uh, thank you is in order. I'm gonna have to assume you also have a name. You take a breath and push your hair behind your ear, dwelling on the horrors you had just seen. Hall. Alina Hall. That is... You going to tell me what happened to me? Because if not, I'm going to have to accept that I might be losing it. You continue to look around for any scratches or bruises. Relax. You aren't injured. I already locked you over. Head to toe. All clear. Smooth as a baby. He smiles, folding his arms. My best guess is you passed out from exposure to the cold. I was hunkering down in here warming up, the storm was getting bad, then I hit a thud right outside the front door. I opened up, and there you were, unconscious woman at my doorstep. I'm starting to think Christmas came early this year. <laughs> you shift in your seat. Well, thank you. I guess I'd be dead right now if you weren't here, so... Where is everyone? Huddle up inside because of the storm, I guess? Yeah, about that. That everyone you're referring to? You're looking at him. You quickly stand up alarmed. What? What do you mean? You can't be the only one here. I kid you not, miss. This place is a goddamn ghost town if I've ever seen one. I know. I've been searching the place the best I could for the past four days. But the storm hasn't made the process easy. Four days? Wait. You ready yourself and reach for your blade, only to remember all your gear was lost in the forest. Back the hell up now! You're him, you piece of scum! I've been tracking you down for half a week! You need to calm down right quick. You're here, and are alive because of me. I understand that you have a job to do, but take a look at the current situation. We are the last two people in a town that I know of. As hard as it's going to be for you to believe me, now that you're hostile- Wait, what? We are the last two people in town that I know of. As hard as it's going to be for you to believe me now that you're hostile. You're unarmed too. I've already proven to you that I have no intention of harming you, and trust me, there's a plenty way I could have done while you were out cold. Whether you like it or not, running into me is the best thing that could have happened to you, given the predicament. Something is up in this town, and as much as I may hate the thought, I think we should work together, see if we can't get to the bottom of this and find the townsfolk. I'm getting a Resident Evil Zero vibe from this. You maintain your stance, hands up, ready to defend yourself. You might be right, but then again, I haven't even set foot on the street yet. Who's to say you aren't full of it? Then why don't you take a look and see for yourself, huh? I'll wait here because I'm not setting out foot out there. Go ahead. I hear the biting cold and hypothermia are beautiful this time of year. You slowly let down your guard. What a goddamn evil asshole. I wonder what he did though. I wonder what his big crime is. Tell you what, you cooperate with me? If we find the townsfolk and get this little mystery of ours sorted out, you can take me in and collect your bounty. I won't even put up a fight, it's not like I could anyway. The whole town knows who I am. I show up at the front doorstep when we find them. They wouldn't let me go either way. No matter how this goes, I end up dead or in prison. The latter is a bit more appealing. All right, we'll work together. But I'm watching my back, I still don't trust you. So what's the plan then? Do you even have one? You bet I do. I have a few search routes planned, but with two of us, we can cover more ground. The way I see it, there are two places close by that people here are likely to go in this situation. The smart ones will head to the school. There's lots of space, there's a cafeteria stocked with food and an infirmary. Recreational activities and a lot of blankets and pillows usually reserved for the younger kids. You know, nap time. Problem here is the place is locked up tight, couldn't get in. Locked, huh? If it's locked from the outside, it could mean the janitor left the building sometime earlier. Possibly before the storm, which means he'll likely still have the keys. I know the guy. He lives in a house on Zwanziga Street, right? Down the street from here. I could check his place. Good idea. You take care of that, I'll cover the other spot, the church. The religious people in town may go there to try and pray the storm away or something stupid like that. It's worth a look, I think. Maybe there after you're done scoping out the school. Got it. I'll see you there. And Isaac, if you try to pull anything with me, I will put you six feet under. You understand me? Yes, ma'am. He smiles. No worries, though. I wouldn't do anything to upset a pretty lady. Hey, good luck. That cold out there, it eats away at you. Can bring down even the strongest of men. Try to take shelter whenever you can. I'll keep that in mind. See you soon. Alright. 
And we got our ender chest. Uh, save rooms and a torch. A handheld torch, which I believe we can take with us. And the save rooms book. Tutorial, save rooms. Throughout your journey, you will find save rooms. These rooms allow you to save your spawn point, manage your items, and generally take a breather free from danger. Save rooms will always have distinctive music, letting you know when you found one. Ender chests are very important and may be used to store items you may not need at the moment given your limited inventory space. Beds are used as save points. There are no checkpoints. All saves are manual. So don't forget to sleep unless you want to run the risk of dying and losing progress. Uh, what? You will break a door and build a oh, great! It's Silent Hill. You'll birth a god and eternal paradise. That's Silent Hill. That's definitely from Silent Hill. 100%. Just want to take a look up here, make sure I'm not missing anything. No hidden chests. No nothing. Put that in my offhand. That way, don't have to worry about it. I've probably picked this up. No? I can't? Okay, I guess I can't pick it up. I've, it feels like something you can pick up, though. Honestly. Like, it really does feel like something I should be able to pick up. Alright, well, I don't think I can. Uh, if that's the case, let's just head on out and see what happens. Or maybe I need to click the table and not the, the item. I just want to make sure I can pick this up or not. I want to make sure, because it looks like a health drink. No, I can't pick this up. It's not letting me. Okay, I'll give up. Let's go take a look outside, and let's go hang out in the storm. All right. Alban Bedhaus. All right, we've got a nice road. All right, this is the Pomerenke Avenue. Uh, we've got some carts here. Nothing much inside them or around them. Maybe there's something back here. Nope, just... Empty road. There's a giant chasm, meaning we can't cross that area. Good to know. And that goes off into nothingness. The best value superstore, which I believe is shut right now because it's got the shutters down. Darn. Uh, this is... Stuff and Things. Lovely place. Love that place, Stuff and Things. Uh, scissoring Salon. Can't go inside. Bought to Steal. Watson's Woodshop. Can't go in there. Got that creepy noise now. BJ's Appliances. A hey. Shepard's favorite store. We can go in here, apparently. Or not. Maybe it's just a case of we can walk there. Pomeranke Avenue again. Another break. I think that might be the school over there. No enemies as of yet, which I've, I'm quite glad for. Because let's be real, I don't really want to face any enemies at the moment when I'm unprepared and I have nothing to actually defend myself with. What's this? Room that you can't go into. So, so far it's really sort of leading us in a normal direction, which is cool. Quite like that. Alright. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to call it a day there. In the next episode, we're going to continue into this town and try and discover what's going on. So, I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Actually, wait. No, 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 that's not my outro. My outro is, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to upvote if you're watching on Vidme. And don't forget to check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel, because that is how I continue making videos. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the map down below, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello there, guys. Bilibo10000 here. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'd like to give out a shout-out to my four Patreons, the Ham562, the Kunkura, Shazer, and Malka Malka for being my Patreons over on Patreon. Your cooperation and your donations help keep me alive each month, and you guys can check out my Patreon as well, where we have tons of different tiers where you can get extra cool rewards each and every month. If you want to support the channel and make sure that we can continue making videos into the foreseeable future, then please consider checking out the Patreon, and maybe even becoming one of my patrons. I hope you enjoyed the video, Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.